Welcome to Kros uh, Panasonic's ITIP platform. And today we want to talk about more in detail about snapshots. So what are snapshots? Snapshots is a static memory of a scene with all of its belonging layers, um, which can be recalled statically on a snapshot by snapshot basis, or can also interpolate from one snapshot to another, what we call dissolve inside snapshots. So let's talk about snapshots. Within the snapshot page over here, which are organized on a scene by scene level. So talking about this scene over here, so I have various uh, snapshots created already in here. So you see the, the four straight we see on screen as well as in the moment. I have a three straight over here, two straight and whatnot. I can recall by simply double clicking one of these items up here, or I can go down to the bus row over here with a single click to recall the next instance. And you see how I'm dissolving, interpolating from one snapshot into another. Now, starting with a snapshot number one over here on the left-hand side, the four straight, you see those four boxes which are buried within the scene. And then I'm going down the list over here. So you see all the various items within my elements. So these are the four uh, different items uh, for the various boxes. On a layer by layer basis, actually, I'm using various um, attributes over here. 2D transforms, I'm using virtual PDZs, and I'm using a texture border setting for this, what you see appearing uh, surrounding the image. Let's say I want to build a complete new snapshot and interpolate to it. Now, for my snapshot to do that, actually I'm using this free box over here. This free box, double clicking it, and then you see uh, the appearance on screen, saying I want to move out round and round in Pole Hope to the left-hand side. So I find my elements within the scene, going down the list over here. So I'm seeing this one over here is my Paul Hope. So I'm going to that entire layer. So this is a layer group actually, using the transform settings, transform 2D, using the control key in the keyboard to lock positioning only in X direction. And I'm doing the same for the top box over here, going to my layer group and lock the position again with control key, push it outside the screen. And now finding my element from over here, saying this is my Nancy test box over here. And for this one, again, I'm resetting or putting in default my transform 2D settings for the layer group. And now I'm going to the individual layer over here and also resetting the transform 2D over here. I'm resetting the crop values over here. I'm going to my text object over here and reposition the text where it's meant to be at the end, using in this case the shift button to lock vertical directions, like over here. And I also will put on top that this layer should dissolve out while running full screen, this text layer. So I'm going to my advanced settings and minimize the opacity over here set this back to zero and you see it disappears from screen. And that's actually the position I want to have as a new snapshot. So I go to my snapshot page and it's as simple as saying, making the right mouse click. And then I want to store a new snapshot over here, which appears right here in this area. So I want to go back to my three box. So it's moving back to the three box. If I now recall the snapshot itself, which I just created, it will pop to that situation so I can cut from one snapshot to the next or um, I can also go in define my duration for this saying I want to run this in 25 frames and I want to be on auto dissolve for this so I'm just going to the checkbox over here and I want to make a smooth dissolve so with the acceleration and deceleration of the effect and I update this to the snapshot and I'm done so going to the free box again moving it back calling my new snapshot over here, so it's moving full screen with a full interpolation in 25 frames. Now, all of this can also be packed into macros, actually, to simulate something like a running timeline. Going from one effect to another like this over here, so I wanna go back to a four box, to a three box, to a two box, to another two box and another three box and going back to another four box over here. All of this can be also set into a macro and I prepared some macros here in my control panel actually. And this loop of boxes is now going to start um, 
with these various box instances and just constantly looping all these elements uh, on screen as long as I'm not aborting or stopping this macro. Now abort this box macro over here. Another one actually is doing the exact same thing. Just put a lower third underneath to also visualize what type of boxes are on screen or also be a placeholder for a lower third coming from graphics straight. A new thing within Snapshots is actually something what we call the priority recall. Before we had this feature, um, we had to do some tricks in layers and copying layers on top and beyond and whatnot in order to mimic that a layer is winning a priority battle. So saying I'm wanting to start with a quad split over here. And with this quad split, once running it, I uh, want to run all of these boxes individually full screen. Of course, they have to negotiate when which layer becomes um, in priority to the top layer. Now, therefore, actually, you see when I'm running the rolling round, the top left box uh, full screen, which is layer wise, the one which is in the lowest priority. So what we have in here is called priority recall. We can set to off to change priority pre running the effect or changing priority post running the effect. Now, once running these images over here, especially now, let's say the top left corner, uh, see that here TL top left and I want to run this full screen with a name tag. Um, so I'm pre changing the priority before running the effect to win the priority battle. Um, running it back, post after the effect, now setting to post, I change the priority back to what it was before. And the same is true when I'm going to the top right, for instance, now running this in pre, running it back on quad, on post. Now also this here can be looped using a macro, for instance, in this case a panel macro, and I want to run this effect over here with um, this button over here. Now you see running full screen, running back, and the next one top right, and the top lower left and lower right. The unique thing over here actually on this multi viewer here, I removed also the UMD, the under monitor display that we see how I'm treating those name tags. So you see rolling around with a name, now we can pull hope, losing the name tag, moving it back, bring it back, Nancy remains with a, with a text and the borderline and the lower right corner is losing the name tag and the border as well. And I'm constantly looping this effect here. Now that was it for Snapshot. And as you can see, Snapshot can be used for various things within KROS using static recalls from one position to another, or even though using interpolation, using the dissolve feature from one um, position in a snapshot into another snapshot, so to speak, also including the priority recalls pre or post to the effect. Thanks for watching.